Hello, welcome to the Game on Grapevine. Today, picking a fight with everyone in the near vicinity. You are an ugly skank. Yes, recently we heard from Patrick Soderlund, Senior Vice President at EA, about the newly revitalised need for speed, but it seems we're not the only ones he's been hobnobbing with. Though, to be honest, warmongering sounds closer to the mark. <laughs> In an interview with CVG, the developer slash semi-professional race driver, yes, race driver, said Need for Speed Shift 2 will absolutely beat Gran Turismo 5 in terms of racing authenticity. What does make sense to me, he said, I think they have a very sterile, almost car collecting type of product, where that's mainly what we do and I think we can offer something different. Sterile? Oh no, he didn't. <laughs> Of course, Soderlund would be bigging up Need for Speed now, as the first footage from Shift 2 has just been released ahead of the 2011 launch on Xbox 360, PC and PS3. But whichever way you look at it, it's a pretty strong statement. EA are clearly trying to reposition Need for Speed as a true AAA contender, whereas before it had more of a casual reputation. I guess if you're going to try and forge that reputation, then picking on the biggest kid in the playground is certainly going to get you noticed, but can Shift 2 really topple Gran Turismo 5? Well, GT5 has been in development for so long, I'm fairly sure my great-grandfather was on the initial dev team, so we're betting it's going to be quite good. Whether or not Need for Speed really can shift Gran Turismo onto the sidelines remains to be seen, but either way, Soderlund clearly isn't messing around. Who knows, maybe he's going to invite the boys from Sony to take it outside and settle it like real men. With that in mind, I'm off to polish my duelling pistol. That came out wrong, I should probably be ashamed of myself.